our history has been whitewashed for too long and we need to get to a place where we ensure that we rectify that history. This man is not the founder of Vintuk and we're going to make sure that that is known. I can't imagine that this is what you would want to teach your children about history, about this history, our history. I mean, black lives matter. You did not think about our, our lives that, are, that, are, that matter. So then you must go. It's a, it's a bad history. I think the, the history of Namibia is very, very clear. It has been filled with the blood of racism, apartheid, and so on and so forth. This is a symbol of that past, that bloody past. And it's not something that should be celebrated. These racist acts and uh, statements have been going on far too long, for a very long time. Only now, because of social media, some people have been, are being exposed. We also went to school where we have teachers who are making sly comments here, sly comments there. Even our coaches where we grew up are making comments. These people have been allowed to do this for a very long time. And I think the problem was it, it became almost normal. Kurt von Francois, who was a Schutz Trooper officer and commissioner of the Imperial Colonial Army of German Southwest Africa, today known as Namibia, is credited for the foundation of the city of Vintuk on the 18th of October 1890. According to Hildegard Titus, one of the organizers of the protest, she started an online petition to call on the mayor of Vintuk and council to remove the colonial statue and replace it with that of Jan Jonker Afrikaner, who is not historically credited for being the founder of the city of Vintuk. Kirkland Francois has been called the founder of Vintuk even though he wasn't. It was actually founded by Yonka Africana almost 70 years before. And ultimately the statue was put up in 1965 to honor white power and white domination of this land and basically say that claim like power to this land. So I was tired of that and I started a petition on change.org and I've had almost a thousand signatures and we're calling to the mayor of Vintuk and the city councillors to hopefully remove this statue and instead take it from here to the Alta Festa where it belongs as a colonial violent force and instead be replaced with the statue of Yonka Afrikaner who's actually the founder of Vintuk. Today on One also spoke to Harold Aquenier, the city of Vintuk spokesperson who said that they welcome the peaceful protest and that having a statue of a more prominent figure will be good for the city's image. Uh, I believe a petition will be handed over to either the mayor or the CEO to take it further. So it shouldn't be only about the statue, but also about the Black uh, Lives Matters movement. As I, I won't mind it coming this side also, as well as the tribalism itself. So we should also look at tribalism. It's, uh, it's not only about uh, racism, but tribalism also. So it's a good thing. Let's carry on as the youth. Uh, we are here to change uh, our city itself, the look and feel of it. And if we can get a more prominent statue also on there, it will do good for the city itself. But let's just keep it peaceful and uh, let's be just organized in everything we do. In 2013, former President Ifike Punye Puhamba also declared the removal of a German colonial statue known as the Horse Rider, which was described by the government as a recurring wound to those that were oppressed during the colonial era.